So I've gotten a little backed up with products that I need to try. AKA I've been failing as a makeup reviewer. So for today's video, I'm gonna do a full face of new skincare, new makeup, and yeah, we're just, we're gonna get caught up, okay? Before we get into that, we're gonna start off with our skincare. I'm gonna take you over to my skin prep this morning. So I just woke up. You're gonna go ahead and get started with my skincare. I've already washed my face. A huge thank you to Nira for sponsoring today's video. I'm really excited to share their at home skincare laser. I have used lasers in the past for my face and they really do work. So what's special about Nira is it's the first and only painless at home laser that is FDA approved. It is clinically proven to reduce wrinkles and it has a small enough tip to target small areas on the face that a lot of other lasers can. Thinking like around the eyes and around the mouth. And for me, I also use it for my acne scars. So it gets those spots perfectly. So how it works is they use the same laser technology as dermatologists. And so what that laser is going to do it's going to build natural collagen there's no harsh side effects or downtime and obviously it's much more affordable than going to see a dermatologist what i wanted this for personally for myself is more so for prevention you guys know i'm 26 so, though i do have of course my natural smile lines and all of that that everybody has so i want to definitely keep those at bay and then the big one for me why i wanted to have a laser is for the dark spots on my face and my acne scarring they say that this does help reduce wrinkles but it also is great for hyperpigmentation dark spots and circles and then of course those acne scars which is what i've been trying to target so i'm going to show you how it works and this is what it looks like to turn it on you just press right here and it is rechargeable I probably need to charge this soon I've been using mine for a few weeks now there are different levels of power from low to high since I don't have too terribly bad or deep wrinkles I keep my power kind of low and then this is the button you press to get the pulsations the pattern you want to go is you want to go in rows like this so how it works I'm going to hold this against my under eye not too hard i'm not pushing too hard and you press the button which at the top right here and it's going to deliver two beeps after the second beep you're good to go to the next spot and then i'm going on to the next and you're going to repeat this until you've gotten about 40 pulses gonna go ahead and do my other under eye and like that's it you're working on your under eye wrinkles for like no more than two minutes now for me you'll see i have some acne scarring so i'm gonna go ahead and get that and lasers really do work for acne spots guys i mean that's why i don't have very many anymore so anyways it does not hurt it just delivers like a little bit precise point of heat so like on the first time that you use it you might be like oh but you get used to it really fast it's just like a little moment of heat and then it's done. I think it's a great natural alternative to Botox and fillers. If you are interested in trying, what's really great is Nira has a 90 day guarantee or you get your money back. So if you buy it, you don't like it for 90 days, you can return it. They'll give you your money back, which I think is really, really great. And do keep in mind, it is going to take a few weeks for any results to show. But if you keep the consistency up with it, I really do feel like that you will see results. So I'm going to invite you on a 90 day near it challenge. Just give it 90 days. See if you like it. I mean, it's a really simple, painless process. Just two minutes at home. And you're working on all of that stuff on your skin. And I have a link down below for you to purchase if you are interested. Again, thank you, Nira, for sponsoring today's video. Let's keep going. Righty ho. Okay, we're going to continue with skincare because all I have is my freshly washed face done by Nira. So I recently did an online quiz with the Inky List. And if you don't know, they're an affordable skincare brand. They're actually sold at Target. That's how I first heard heard about them so based on my wants and needs they curated like a little set for me and so they did send this to me but this isn't being sponsored <laughs> so i'm going to try some of the things i can't cleanse i've already done that i don't know should i use some hyaluronic acid some toner let's just completely prep the skin okay we're gonna start off with pha toner now, usually I'd only use toners at night, 
but it says this is gentle enough to use every day morning and night and I'm trying to decide what products I want to incorporate in my everyday routine my skin is very reactive so I'm picky about products that I let into the everyday routine and I'm ready to freshen that routine up so that's what we're testing today and for reference I do have normal to dry skin but I'm very sweaty on my inky list quiz I told them I was looking to kind of brighten my face that I did have breakouts and acne prone skin and that my skin was dry this is the routine that they gave me okay this feels relatively gentle I think I still would probably only use this at night I don't like using toners too much I feel like it can be too rough on my skin but we'll start off with that next let's use this hyaluronic acid serum let's see always use as your first serum on cleansed skin apply a pea-sized amount I think I was supposed to use this before the toner Oh well, this is the learning process. This is what happens when we do it on camera. So let's see, this is what it looks like. It's so cute. A pea-sized amount. Put that on. I am not a skincare expert, you guys. I just use what works. I try a bunch of things and keep what sticks in my routine. Okay, cool. Finally, we are going to use the Simbright Moisturizer. That's for dull skin, so this is actually meant to brighten skin, which is what I wanted. I feel like my skin's been looking a little dull lately. Uh, usually, I like the Ola Henriksen Vitamin C line. I feel like that one really brightens my skin, but I wanted to try something different. And the fact that this is affordable, really wanted to try to let you guys know what I thought. How awesome is that? Because skincare can be super duper expensive. So let's see how this feels. Now, I'm a big moisturizer girl. I'm really picky with moisturizers, particularly because moisturizers normally are the culprit for why I break out. It's really weird, but that's how it works for me. I love the way this feels. It's very lightweight. Hmm, okay, that looks good. So there we are. I'll put the link down to the quiz in case you want to see. Like, you don't have to buy anything. The quiz is free. This sounds like an ad. I swear it's not. <laughs> I've already had the ad in here, guys. No, I thought it was cool. And they, like, laid out what they would recommend for me. And then, of course, sunscreen because I don't have any on and I live in Florida. I have this from Drunk Outfit. This is the Ombra Sheer Physical Daily Defense sunscreen SPF 30. I love Drunk Elephant. I think they create beautiful products and I'm always excited to test out a new sunscreen. I currently am rotating between a couple but what's another one right? Oh my gosh love the packaging how cute. Okay I feel like I don't cover skincare enough on my channel. I do use and test a lot on this side, you know? But I just don't talk about it a ton on my channel because I do keep my routine really simple. So it's like one at a time I'll test new products. Okay, that's good. Nice, nice. I feel like my hands are super oily now. But my skin looks prepped and ready for makeup, so let's go ahead and get into it. For primer, I have this new primer from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f., oh my gosh, from Milk. This is the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. Here's what it looks like. And yes, I know I have dry skin, but I'm super duper sweaty. And if I'm spending time outside in the Florida heat and humidity, I like a mattifying primer. It makes me look a little dry, I'm not gonna lie, upon the initial application, but once I go outside, I don't regret it. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this. If I don't love this, don't knock it because I do have dry skin, but this is what the consistency of it looks like. The packaging is so sleek. This is a newer product from Milk. It came out a few weeks, maybe a couple months ago. They sent it to me in PR, but they sent it to my parents' address, and I don't know who to contact to change my address. So, because they send me things like once every year. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, this is going on nice. I mean, you can still see a little bit of my natural glow left behind from all this skincare products, but we'll see. This will help with longevity. I like that it doesn't feel super mattifying or leaving my skin feeling really thirsty. So I think this might help with longevity. That This is something that's going to take me a while to get used to, so yeah. I didn't have a new foundation to test, so I went into my trusty sample drawer, and we're going to try... Oh, this feels good. I'm hot. The Beauty Blender Bounce foundation. This is so old. I honestly think they're either reformulating this or getting rid of it because I keep seeing it for 50% off. But I never even got to try it, so let's do that. I think we're going to go for a mix of 3.6 and 3.25. I don't have much choice on the matter, though. 
I got these like in an order from Sephora or something, I think. You can get them at the end on checkout online. Let's see how 3.6 looks. I'm a little tanner than I'm used to right now, so I always pick out shades that are too light for me. What do we think? This is 3.6. Okay, she's dark. What's my shade? Okay, maybe we're 3.25. Maybe we're a mix of the two. Honestly, this matches my shoulders though. It's not a bad color match. It's just not the color of my face. Let's see 3.25 now. Oh, this is like a better color. I'm a mixture of the two, I would say. No, this actually might be my shade. I'm just gonna mix the two because my chest is really tan and we get more product that way. Just gonna mix them on my forehead. I think I might have applied too much. I don't know, I'm not familiar with this foundation, but it seems to be really matte. Either that or it's the primer. Probably should have just used a foundation I was familiar with. I'm gonna use a sponge to push the product in now. I like to use my fingers to spread out the product because I feel like then the layer doesn't get too thick. Down the nose and the center of the face. What do we think? I know a lot of people I've seen don't like this foundation and I've seen a lot of people like this foundation. I feel like it looks a little patchy on me, like I can't get it to give me coverage on my cheek. It's very weird. But other than that, I think it looks nice. Like I don't think it looks too thick or anything. I don't mind it. I mean, it's my first time using it so I can't say too much, but it looks okay. But for some reason that doesn't want to cover my cheek, but okay. Let's keep it moving. So I got a few brow products from a brand called Brow Code. They also sent me a lamination kit, which I want to try, but I'm so nervous. But they also sent me two micro brow pencils, so I thought I'd try them out since I don't have anything else. I'm gonna go ahead and do taupe because I normally like a cooler brow pencil. So this is what the packaging looks like. I like that it is all gold. The tip also looks nice and fine. Oh, this one is probably gonna be too light. This one looks like it might be better for a blonde, but sometimes I get away with using like taupey colors. Okay, this is good actually. I would use a darker color if my brows were a little bit more sparse, but I only need some definition like up here. Let me get it on this side, right here. This is a good brow pencil, I like it. It's a little on the drier side, which I really like. It's making it easy to do the strokes. It's not too messy. A drier brow pencil is going to leave a cleaner looking brow, if you ask me. It's nice and precise. It's not depositing too much color. Ooh, this is a decent brow pencil. I like it. Ooh, I really like that brow pencil. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow on one eye and off. So this is the look so far. You are not gonna believe what palette I used. <laughs> so I'm using the Glam Light and Michaela palette, volume one. Like this is part one, the first one that they came out with last year. I bought it over the holidays because I got it on a really good discount and I never had the opportunity to play with it, but I did order part two, so I wanted to play around with part one before I reviewed part two. So that's what I used today. Obviously, there's so many colors in this palette, so I'm going to need to play a lot more with this before I can really deep dive in my thoughts. But we'll start off here. So I'm testing some products currently from City Beauty right now. They're just in my products I'm testing drawer. So I'm gonna use this as a base. This is what the brand recommends. This is a line blurring wrinkle filler. I don't know that I love this necessarily as a base for eyeshadow like they say, but it feels really nice and hydrating. And honestly, I don't know if the glam light shadows are really good or maybe this primer is a good eyeshadow primer, but the shadows blended really nice on top of it, so I'm not gonna change anything. But this is really hydrating for the under eyes, and I noticed a little bit of dryness in my outer corner down here this morning. So I wanna put that extra layer of hydration before we get into concealer or anything. And this kind of has like a tightening effect, which I think those of you with mature eyelids would really like. So I'm gonna give this a second to settle in. I wanted to go for colors that I really loved first with this palette, but there is a lot more that I wanna do. So I'm gonna play with this over the next few days. We're gonna start off with MJ right here. This is a BK Beauty 201 brush. This is just a lilac purple shade. If you're new to my channel, purple is my favorite color of eyeshadow that's not brown. I love brown eyeshadow, but if I'm gonna do color, I'm gonna do purple. And I've never tried Glam Light before 
today. So this is also my first time trying Glam Light. And I have to say, I really like the formula so far. You can see how well this purple is holding its own without a white base or anything. It's working out really easy. So we're gonna start there. We'll touch up this color later. And then I went into Roadie right here, which is this blue. I went in with pretty difficult colors, I would say, in terms of colors that brands and companies struggle with. And I didn't have any difficulty today. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about this palette. I'm a year late, I'm aware, but better late than never. And this color story is gorgeous. That's why I bought it in the first place. I really enjoyed the color story of it. So when she first launched this palette, I didn't watch her. I wasn't on TikTok then, so I didn't know who she was. But now I do. Now I'm on TikTok. Now I love her. Okay, and then I went in with Mass Hole right here. And okay, this is like one of the worst, most difficult shades to work with. But in this palette, I found it not messy not patchy, not hard to blend. So I think I am a fan of the Glam Light formula. Cause this is pretty nice. I'm gonna have to play with a few more palettes from them to fully decide on if I like Glam Light or not. But I have a couple in my palette drawer that I need to play with from Glam Light. But this is my first impressions and it's pretty darn nice. Gonna blend the edges out, but you see, it did so much work by itself. I didn't need to do hardly anything. Let's go into the shimmers. So I'm gonna first start off with Immaculate right here. This is such a pretty color and the shades in here, the shimmers are like cream. They kind of are a putty consistency. So when I push my brush in, it pushes the product around. I'm not creating a cut crease, but you can see how I have the purple haloing over the eyelid. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and these shimmers apply nice with the finger. I'd probably apply them with a the finger over a brush, but since I want a little bit of precision, I'm using a brush anyways, and they're still applying just fine. But you can get a quicker application if you just use your finger, because it would be like more of a one and done situation. And then I'm gonna go into NAS right here. This is like a light purple blue. It is so stunning, and I'm putting it underneath the purple on the inner third of the eyelid. Isn't that insane? And this, again, it's with a brush. It would be even more insane with a finger. So I'm gonna do a finger example for you. We're gonna go into Audrey, but again, this applied great with a brush. This is a little less putty-like, more of a true powder finish. But yeah, Glam Light has insane shimmers. I'm so late to the party. These are all thoughts you've probably heard before, but as somebody new experiencing this, Wow, love all of the dimension. I mean, Kayla knew what she was doing. So give me a moment. I'm just gonna touch up a couple shades. Like I'm gonna blend the shimmer in with the blue and I wanna touch up the purple. And then we're gonna go back in with the MJ shade, which is that lilac color. Cause I did notice it did fade a little bit. I'm just gonna touch that up. This look is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take a wipe. We're just gonna clean up underneath the eyes. Get any fallout, which surprisingly, given the colors that I used for this look, didn't get much fallout, which again, was not what I was expecting. I'm gonna go ahead and use eyeliner as well. So I have this from Bare Minerals. This is the Maximus Liquid Eyeliner. I don't know, I had it in my drawer buried, so I thought I'd try it. Looks like this, hopefully it's black enough. Let's see. I like to do this before my concealer so that I can clean it up if necessary. Oh, it's really watery, I don't like that. So brush applicator. Mm, I don't like this. The product's a little bit too watery for me. A little bit harder with application. Okay, that will have to do. We'll put on some falsies. I, I wouldn't say this is bad. We'll have to see how it lasts because that can turn a good eyeliner to very bad if it doesn't last. I just don't like the application. It's a brush applicator and the formula is a little bit more liquidy, so it's harder to get control with this. And I mean, I'm not a pro at applying eyeliner, but I'm pretty good at it. You know, I do this for a living, but I can see somebody who's not as good with eyeliner really struggling with this. I don't dislike it. It doesn't seem to be a bad formula. I just don't like the application, but we'll see. We'll continue to play. For concealer, I've added a couple new drugstore things to my collection, and one of them was based on your guys' recommendation. This is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum, which I think is very trendy. This is the only shade they had at Target, and I think it might be too dark. So I might have to mix some foundation in here, but this is a shade Honey, and I see everybody talking about how amazing this concealer is. So I'm excited. It started off with Emily Noel raving about 
about it. And I trust Emily Noel wholeheartedly. And I tend to agree with her with her makeup reviews most of the time. So this has got to be good if Emily gives it a stamp of approval. Oh, that might work. Okay, great. So I'm going to start off by using my Esum W25 brush. It looked a lot darker in the container, but this is perfect. This has a yellowy undertone, which I don't always need a yellowy undertone on my under eyes, but I'm wearing purple and blue eyeshadow. So if that eyeshadow starts to fall, you want to make sure your under eyes are corrected with something like yellow so that you don't look tired or sick. So that's a time that I do recommend using like a yellowy concealer. It's when you're using purple and blue eyeshadow, something that could make you look bruised, you know? Oh, that's really pretty. What do you think? It looks really lightweight. I see why people are liking this. I'm going to put some of that concealer around my nose area. It feels quite hydrating as well. Okay, you guys did not lead me astray. Of course, this is my first time using this product. I'm going to have to continue using it, but I'm almost like, <laughs> you guys know what you're doing. This is good. Before I put on any setting powder or anything, I do have a cream cheek product to try. I got these in PR a couple months ago. I never got the chance to try these. These are the Tarte Lip Stains. They look interesting. So I want to try, I guess the neutral shade would be the best. My base looks nice. It looks a little heavy, but not bad. Don't know what shade this is. Oh, exposed. Duh, I used to have a pressed powder blush in the shade exposed. So let's see. Smile and dab onto the apples of your cheeks and blend with fingertips. So this is what the product looks like. Okay, let me just, I usually don't like applying products this way, but yeah, they gave me more color than I thought. It took a little bit of rubbing. It's pretty, it's subtle. It's what I needed for today, given the crazy eye. And it kind of has like a glass-like effect on the skin, actually. It's going right along with the texture and finish of the foundation. And it's blending in pretty nice. Very, very natural, which I think a lot of you are gonna like. You know, I don't like blushes like these when I'm wearing a full coverage product normally. I think finishes like this are really pretty for the no makeup makeup kind of look or the skin tint kind of days. That's pretty. Okay, I like that. We'll have to continue playing with it, obviously. But it's nice. It's not sticky on the cheek. I don't think it removed foundation. I did prefer applying it with a sponge. I think a brush would also be good. I didn't really like tugging at my cheek with it. Okay, cool. Um, so this is not a new product. I'm just gonna use the Armani Luminous Soap Glow Fusion Powder to set the face. It's not new, but I've only used it a couple of times. And when I first bought this, it was too dark on me. Gotten a lot more tan. So I'm kind of re-pulling this out to get new opinions on it. So I'm just gonna use this to slightly set my face. It should leave my face still glowy since it is a glowy powder. I'm not gonna touch my under eyes with this since it's too glowy for my under eyes. I'm just gonna use a little bit of powder that I like. Especially since I really want to test this concealer. So I want to be fair with the powder that I use. Huh, this powder made my skin look nice. I, like I said, I don't even remember really what I thought of it. But my skin looks nice. It's definitely powdered down, but there is that glow still. Okay, I randomly just grabbed the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish setting powder, which looks like this, nothing special. I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss Powder Puff to press the powder in under here. Again, I'm being really strategic with my under eyes just because of the color eyeshadow that we're using. Beautiful, the skin looks nice. You can see the cheek stain has kind of faded away. That's why I think this is gonna be more so for skin tint kind of days. Like I'm definitely gonna go in the powder blush on top. I'm gonna finish up the lower lash line really quickly. I'm gonna go in with MJ. I'm gonna use the exact same brushes as well. So just using the light purple on the inner half of the lower lash line. Gotta be careful not to go too low with this shade. And then Rody right here. And then mass hole right in the outer third of the lower lash line. And then lastly, I'm gonna take some of Immaculate, this purple shade. I'm gonna use that over top of the matte purple. Gorgeous, Michaela. I know I'm a year late, but gorgeous. Okay, so I'm really excited about this product that I picked up at Target the other day. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Dream Team Face Palette. I love these palettes. I think they are such good values for what you get. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the bronzer right here, the matte Minoy, which is the deeper one. Why not? And I'm gonna use that today. So this is the Dream Contour brush from Sigma. And since it is the darker color, 
This brush does not have a lot of density to it, so it's not gonna pick up too much color, but I'm using it to lightly add some color out here on the outskirts of my face. Absolutely lovely. That palette will be back in the future, but I actually wanna try this. So I have this face powder from Lethal Cosmetics. Camera Ready Cosmetics was kind enough to send this to me, so I'll have it linked. And these look so pretty. Okay, I need to find a palette to put it in. But this is the color Blossom, and it looks like it's gonna be so pretty. I love of the two different colors kind of laced together here. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same brush. Oh, that's really pigmented and very shiny. I wasn't, oh, this is like more of a highlight, right? Hmm, okay. I guess we'll use this <laughs> more as a highlight shade because that has a lot of reflect in there and it's quite bright. What, how do they say to use this? Effortlessly blend and build this luminous, matte face powder to any intensity with ease. So I think you can do whatever you want with it and blend it out. It actually has more of that pink impact. It's just really luminous. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the pink from the, oh, that's actually pretty. It just has a strong highlighty kind of shift to it. That's pretty. I don't think I need a highlight. I'm gonna add one just for testing purposes, but I was not expecting that. This is definitely like a highlight and <laughs> a blush, but the shift is strong. Like it looks like a highlight but then I turn it and it's such a pretty blush. Very interesting. I have three other shades to play with. I think I like it. I do. I just was not expecting that. But for testing purposes, I do have another highlight and it's really white and really bright and I wanted it to highlight my inner corners since I feel like I could use some brightness in my eyelid. So this is from Revolution Pro. This launched a few months ago. This is the Marilyn Monroe collection highlight and I haven't tried anything yet from the collection, but I think that this collection looks so beautiful beautiful and I don't it looks a little chunky though so I'm worried about putting it on my face like here's the swatch and obviously it's very very blinding but I'm at least going to use it for my inner corner to brighten things I'm gonna go ahead and grab this pop it here oh see that just like gave me exactly what I needed it to give me right here it'll be too glittery on my face i think i don't think i'm gonna like this on my face i think this is prettier as an eyeshadow but for testing purposes i am a makeup reviewer after all i'm gonna take like the tiniest bit <laughs> like that and then just like oh that's pure glitter this is a terrible highlight no way it has to be for the right makeup look and this is i'd never have the right makeup look for this this is not my style way too glittery too many loose particles this is not a good highlight mm, i don't like this it's much prettier and it looks on the face. I guess it goes with this look, so it's somewhat acceptable, but I'm never reaching for this highlight. But it looked great on the inner corners and I put it on my eyes, but that's kind of a mess. I'm not a fan of that. And I was excited about it, but as soon as I swatched it, I knew I wasn't gonna like it, but I thought I'd give it a try because I needed it for that inner corner. <gasps> I'm so angry. I meant to try these Essence Lash Princess liners. Dang it, I'll have to try these again tomorrow and leave them out on my desk, that's okay. <laughs> All right, for setting my face, Milani sent over this new setting spray and I'm so excited about it. So this is the Make It Last setting spray. This is not new. This is a great long wearing setting spray. Great for the summertime, but this one actually has SPF in it, which really excites me. So I'm gonna use this and this is, has SPF 30. Oh, it kind of smells like a perfume. Oh, it kind of burns a little bit. I don't know. Do I like this? Mascara lately, I'm testing this City Beauty Beyond Mascara. I don't feel like opening up a new one just for this video, so let me pop these on my lashes really quickly. And you guys know I'm not working with much lashes, and this is pretty good. You can see my lashes, so that's a win. Oh, that Milani has a really strong fragrance. I don't know that I like it, and it's leaving like an alcoholy taste on my lips, which I also don't like. So I don't know that I like that. I think I like the original version better, even if it has sunscreen. It's way too fragranced, and that's a lot for me to say because I can handle fragrance. Okay, this is like my third time using the mascara. It's pretty good. I'm gonna throw on some falsies because we gotta match the energy of this eyeshadow and we're gonna finish the lips. What do you guys think? I think it pulled together so well with the lashes. I use Lily Lashes and Always and Forever. And I do have just like a nude pink lip liner. This is from Wonder 2 Beauty in Primrose because I've heard such good things about the Clarins lip oils. So I wanted to go ahead and try these. I've been on a real lip oil kick lately so this shade looks perfect to try out today this is raspberry so let's just do it. it has a nice fat applicator i just love how they look like jelly in there okay 
Mm. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my goodness. It smells like candy. I like the way that this feels as well. And that looks really pretty and smooth on the lips. Okay, guys, like here's the final look. Full face of all new products and the look turned out really nice. Not anything really bad in today's video. The only thing was I didn't like the highlighter and I'm not too sure about this Bare Minerals eyeliner. But other than that, I mean, everything looks super duper nice. I have a series called Speed Makeup Reviews where I review everything that I've tried in the, a certain period of time. So all of these products are going to be put into my new makeup drawer and I will update you on the these products as I use them more but I'm so happy oh my gosh and make sure you're following me on Instagram I'll post every time I do a look with the eyeshadow palette so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful a huge thank you again to Nira for sponsoring today's video I will have the link down below to shop the skincare laser and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one